Peggy 12. creative director for King's Quest. We're really impressed with the cast that we ended up pulling off for this. Perhaps they would have led him back into the tournament with something as astounding as a dragon's eye. I'm playing King Graham in the new King's Quest. I kind of felt I knew the guy, which had a lot to do with my wanting to do it. I'm Tom Kenny, and I do the voice of the Merchant of Miracles in the King's Quest game. No time to lounge, my boy! Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. The thing about the Merchant of Miracles is, once in a while he'll help you, but he always reverts right back to his con man ways. It's a compulsion, he can't stop it. Uh, let's see, here's your money back. One, two, three, <laughs> one! <laughs> and I don't think I'm a bad guy but it's really fun to play bad guys. He grew into the character and as he started, he got more mannerisms out and he started gesturing more and making like faces and hand shapes. That look like it goes with my apron. My name is Zelda Williams and I will be voicing Amaya Blackstone in the new King's Quest. What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Amaya is the blacksmith in Daventry and she's like a no-nonsense like, what are you worrying about, Graham? You should just go and solve the task. Just go do it. Put that sack lunch down. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> yeah, I can't be a fan of anyone that connected with their emotions. Hang on a sec. Graham, right? I'm reading the part of Manny. You'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. My character in this is the clever one, so I enjoy that part. Without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. <laughs> you know what, we're going with that one right there. That's fabulous. Uh, moving on. I'm Maddie Elizabeth Jones, and I play Gwendolyn. You faced a dragon. You made weird new friends. You battled for wits. I... I just don't get it. Being the voice of Gwendolyn is really cool because you're in a video game. Instead of being in a movie, which I've usually been in, I get to be part of a game, and it's pretty cool. So, I've just got to know. What's brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? My name is Josh Keaton, and I play young King Graham. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? I think he's pretty heroic. He's the hero of the story. He is probably the greatest character in all of King's Quest lore, and a fixture and a pillar of Daventry. Daventry has been an interesting experience so far. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Can I pet your goats? <laughs> Ooh, a shield, huh? It's been a lot of years since a new King's Quest game has hit the market and been out there. Yeah, I mean, it's an old franchise, too. I mean, it's, it's about 30 years old now, so it's older than I am. I mean, these are classic games, and so many games after the fact have really just been an evolution of what Sierra Games brought to the forefront. I love adventure games, and puzzle games especially were my childhood, and I'm really glad that there are games that are bringing that back. You don't have to be aware at all of any of the previous uh, versions of it. This is a great entry-level uh, starting point to, to King's Quest. I think once you blast into that world where there's you know, knights and goblins and unicorns that are really goats with the horns <laughs> rubber banded to their heads, it's just, you're there. Whether they're new at it or not, young or old, it has an excitement to it that I think is going to appeal to them wherever they're coming from. I'm personally so proud of what we've been able to create. It's one of those games that you drive home and you're just thinking about, wow, I can't believe we actually get to do this every day. 